Good afternoon, my name is Elaine Ross and I'm standing here in beautiful Clearwater, Florida. I'm the brand manager for Aquila Marine Max USA. I'd like to welcome you to our all new Aquila 54. Aquila is the number one power catamaran company in the world. We manufacture and produce a wonderful power catamaran that will suit the needs of every individual. Starting off at the aft of the yacht, what you're going to notice is a nice level platform for boarding from a floating dock onto the yacht. In addition to that, if, you have a, if you're located at a fixed dock area, we have an additional step. So depending on your tide, whether it's low or high, the boat can move up and down, and so will your step. As a third step, you can also, if you have very high tidal, you'll be able to step onto the stainless steel. On the aft platform or swim deck, underneath here, you have a full size swim ladder. So what you'll see once your swim ladder is down, if you need to tuck fenders away or lines or life jackets or water toys, you've got additional storage, ample storage in there. So if you're a scuba diver or you just have different water toys that you'd like to use, you have both the storage on your port and starboard hull. One of the great benefits to the Aquila line is the ability to sit on the aft steps. They're not only designed as steps, but as a great place to have your morning cup of coffee or watch your kids swimming in the water or just sitting back here and looking at the beautiful scenery. So every seat, you have a nice little backrest. You'll be able to kick your feet out, sit back, Put your cup of coffee up here and just have a good time, take it all in. One of the great design elements of the Aquila 54 is the addition of the Aquila 14 rib tender. One of the amazing benefits to utilize this Aquila 14 rib is a concealed crane system. Instead of having davits, exposed davits on your platform, Aquila is redesigned and come up with a proprietary boom system. The crane system is very simple for a single person to use. Simply use a remote control to boom out, lower your cable, lift your tender up, boom further out, and lower your tender into the water. Sitting underneath the tender, you have a fantastic hydraulic aft pl platform. You can either get it standard as a fixed aft platform or you can get it as a hydraulic platform. Your platform, swim platform, drops all the way down to the same level as your steps, extending your beach deck area from your port hull to your starboard hull. One of the great things about Aquila is the use of handrails. Wherever you are on the Aquila yacht, you're going to find ample handhelds all throughout the boat. You also find on the aft cockpit on your port and starboard hull, you have a gate system. This is both kid friendly and pet friendly while you're underway. Easy to operate, one hand, lift up, slide over, and it drops down into place. Stays steady and strong. Good stainless steel, 316 stainless steel. You also notice you have a grab rail on your outboard and also your inboard. So depending whether you're coming up this side or this side or over here, there's a handhold for every hand that you can have. You also have fresh water wash down shower. So if you're swimming and you have the additional swim, swim ladder on your port hull, you'll be able to shower off as soon as you come out and stand on your aft swim platform. That same process follows for the starboard hull. So welcome to the aft cockpit. First thing you're gonna notice is the size, the beam of this. It's enormous, so there's enough to probably sit 10 to 12 people around your cockpit table here easily with some independent seating. And then you've got your fixed bench seating along the back. Underneath that, you've got lazarettes for storage for all your cleaning supplies, dock lines, fenders, you name it. You can throw it under there. Standing underneath me, you have an additional lazarette. Typically, this is where we store our aft, aft anchor. Following me around to the port side, we have a significant engine compartment. Notice the step ladder leading down. You have plenty of headroom in there. You have 
lighting within each hull, within each engine compartment. You have fire suppression system, you name it. There's a lot of neat things within that engine room. Probably my favorite thing is the headroom and the clearance that you have. It's, it's such a big benefit for any of you motorheads out there that are familiar with yachts. No more cramming into tiny, small spaces in your engine compartment. This boat has a wonderful size engine compartment to manage your entire mechanical system. On board the Aquila, whether you're a liveaboard or a cruiser, one of the important aspects is how much fuel can it carry, how much water, what's a beam. So some of those core functions of what makes the Aquila 54 so manageable out on the water is that we have a length overall of 54 feet. We have a water line length of 52 feet. We have a tunnel height clearance of three, just over three feet, three feet, two inches. We have a 25 foot beam on her and we have roughly the same air draft height of 25 foot. This one is equipped with four staterooms. So entry into the fourth cabin, or as we like to say, is a nice access. You have twin bunk beds and a wet head down below. Walking into the cockpit, you'll notice two fixed bar stools. And we have a two panel slider door that opens up and a significant pop-up bar window that easily opens through hinges. And then we have a safety latch here. We have a drop down bar top. So this is a fantastic area for sitting and enjoying your time with family and friends. You have great open social zones. You can have someone in the kitchen, you can have family and friends around you, you can be having your favorite beverage or cocktail and sitting here and enjoying this wonderful scenery. Walking into the main salon, the first thing you're gonna notice, natural daylight, huge windows. So one thing that Aquila paid very close attention to is really taking advantage of your environment around you and bringing that environment inside. So when you're sitting down at your salon table or at, on the settee to the side of it, you have a significant panoramic view, both aft, port and starboard sides, as well as forward through the master cabin. So you pretty much have a 360 degree view around this entire boat through windows. That's pretty unheard of, I think, when it comes to being on a power catamaran or any motor yacht for that matter. It, it's really significant. It brings everything outside, inside. It's such a great feature to the Aquila brand. In addition to that, what you're gonna notice, you have wonderful leather accents on all your grab rails. These are a very nice feature because they're soft to the touch, warm. So if it's cold where you live in a cold environment, you don't have to grab cold stainless steel. You can grab a nice leather wrap piece of stainless steel. In addition to that, we have a tremendous seating area where you're gonna be, again, be able to seat 10, 12, even more if you take full, full use of the settee to the side. We have a folding, <coughs> folding dining table on leafs that just simply pull out and rest. And this goes all the way around. In addition to this, we have a pin underneath that we pull out and we can spin this so it's a little bit more square and fits the area correctly. But for now, we just have it folded up so we have it in this position right now. We also have a nice 55 inch flat panel TV. Um, you could easily put a larger flat panel TV in if you wanted to, there's plenty of room for that. It just depends on your taste, whether you want a large TV or not, or if you simply want to put artwork up, you don't have to use it as a TV area. Well, you'll notice to my starboard, we have a great area up here where you're able to use it as storage or put art, art up here or whatever you want to put up here. You have it both to port and starboard. Just below me, we have tons of storage. So this is more of a small liquor cabinet or you can pull the shelving out and use it as standard shelving. One thing you're gonna notice within the, all the Aquilas, and especially on the 54, is that we have got storage wherever you look. If we have a space within the power catamaran, we've put storage in it. 
So one thing, and through cruising, is you're always trying to find room, whether it's dry goods, clothing, foul weather gear. We've thought of that, and we've tried to take that into consideration. And so you will find that there is significant storage throughout the yacht. This is a great benefit of all Aquilas. Very, very important if you're spending time cruising. To my left right here, you're gonna notice is the electronic display. This boat is managed by Sea Zone Control. We also have our main circuit breaker board over here. The great thing about Sea Zone and the way this yacht is managed is essentially a smart boat. It operates very similar to the way that you would operate your iPad. You have this control right here. You toggle through and you push push soft or soft key, keyboard buttons and takes care of the systems. All of this comes pre-programmed pre from Aquila. One of the best benefits that I truly love is the addition of a full-size fridge and freezer. Hard to find on a lot of yachts. I say that from experience. Normally it's your little slide out. Nothing wrong with them, but they're small. Everyone knows that. Now we have a wonderful full-size fridge and freezer, just like at home. To my right, you'll notice that we have another bar top area. All of our surfaces are Corian, which are scratch and stain resistant to a certain degree. And so these are wonderful hardy surfaces. Below me, we have a nice wine storage chiller. We have additional liquor and wine storage or drink storage. We have drawers throughout. Additional storage in these compartments. I won't open all of them, but to give you an idea, there's storage, trash bin, rubbish bin underneath here. To my left, over here, you're going to have a convection microwave, nice and concealed, tucked away. Very important that we try, one of the things that we've tried to do is keep the boats very clean, very Euro style, very um, just clean and modern. And that's, that's one of the things that you'll notice when you step on board. Everything's tucked away very nice and tidy. This boat comes standard with a four burner induction cooktop. Below that, this, op this owner has opted for a small dishwasher that tucks in right below the induction hardtop. One of the great things about this yacht is the size of the sink. You have a sink just as you would at home with nice faucet, nice controls, easy area to clean and do your dishes. If you want to take advantage of the dishwasher, you can, or you can put a drying rack anywhere you want, and then you've got plenty of room to take care of your dishes. So back behind me to my left, we also have a sunken storage compartment. This area is sunken so that if you have any blenders or other kitchen appliances that are loose appliances, you're able to tuck them in here. Some of our clients have even said, you know, they, can, they would build shelves and that's why we've left it open for you. Every owner is different. We want to keep it independent for you to make the best decision for your yacht. Moving forward, what you'll notice is we have little two steps down into the master cabin. First thing you're going to notice when you walk in, king size bed, island bed at that. So you're able to get around both sides. You also notice the panoramic windows bringing more natural light into your cabin. All right, coming down into your starboard master cabin head. You have nice, easy, gentle four steps to navigate down. First thing you're going to notice, we have wonderful Corian countertops again, carried throughout. You have a double vanity sink, nice stainless faucets. You also have a wonderful window again, bringing more natural light in. If you're not tall like me, five foot nine, one of the questions I had when I stepped on board for the first time, well, what about the mirrors? I can't see myself. Tequila thought of that. Wonderful, great idea. Have lowering mirrors down. Now I can easily shave and take care of my business that I need to in the mornings. We also have additional storage for towels, linens, clothing, whatever you need to put away. Again, ample storage throughout. You will find tons of storage throughout this boat. Inside your shower, you have a nice teak graded flooring. You have a lovely rain shower in addition to a wand shower. 
In addition to in the shower, we also have a combined washer dryer, single ventless unit. Over to the port side, again, you'll notice an easy four steps to navigate down. You have your wonderful leather wrap stanchion to grab hold of, great and secure. First thing you're gonna notice is we've got a great little worktop area, so you can use this for anything you need. You have tons of storage, again, underneath. You have a nice little stool to sit at, and you also have a nice little pop-up vanity mirror. Working further towards the bow, one of the great features that I personally really love about this yacht is we have a full-size walk-in closet. You have a nice hanging area, additional shelving to both sides to be able to tuck your shoes away or your clothing. So this really is a superb feature on the Aquila 54. On your starboard side, walking down, we have your VIP cabin. We're in the VIP cabin, and one of the first things you're gonna notice again, windows, 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 windows. We have them everywhere. But one of the great features, we have a work desk. So if you wanna sit here and look out the window, read a book, you're able to sit down. You can use a stool if you need to. Two of you can sit here and have a nice chat. In addition, we've even thought about shoe storage. Where do I put my shoes? We, underneath the stairs, we have a wonderful full stair tread where you're able to tuck your shoes in nice and tidy. We also have a sliding door that is able to close and open to give you additional privacy. It locks in place. And simply move the latch and slide it back. Concealed behind that, we have additional storage again. Ample storage. Working our way aft towards the bed, what you'll notice is you have again a nice queen size island bed. So you have significant storage throughout. Again, you have nice little reading lights to be able to sit and read. And again, you have a wonderful view outside, outside your window. If it's rainy and not so great, you have inclement weather outside and it's time for movie or you just want to catch up on what's the latest game on TV, we have a wonderful ability to do a drop-down TV. Moving forwards towards the bow, we have a wonderful head. Again, you've got a nice teak graded flooring in the shower. You have a wand shower, you have port lights, additional window so that you can see out. What you'll notice also is you have a nice, beautiful, big, mirror that's got nice accent uh, lighting right behind it. You have a nice freshwater electric flush toilet as well as Corian countertop and a single vanity sink. Walking down into our guest cabin, again this owner selected a four cabin layout so it comes with your master cabin up front, your VIP cabin to starboard, and on your port side you have a guest cabin which is similar to your VI cab VIP cabin, just a little bit smaller as we had to include the fourth cabin in the aft. So take a walk with me and we'll take a look at your guest cabin. Here in the guest cabin, you have a nice queen size bed again. You have wonderful windows looking out. Again, we have a drop down TV right above me. We have storage throughout. Again, we have a nice little work area right here. If you need books or just throw some towels or clothes, you have a nice little area with additional storage below. Here in the guest cabin, we have an ensuite head. So we have a nice shower with teak rated flooring and a wand shower. We have nice lighting around accented mirror. We have a single vanity sink sitting on top of Corian counter space. To left of that, we have a wonderful fresh water flush electric toilet. As we work our way back to the aft cockpit again, notice all the room. So now we're gonna take a walk up to the wonderful flybridge that Aquila has to offer on the 54 power catamaran. Walk through the entrance and the first thing you're gonna notice about this owner's option, they selected our Sky Lounge version. What the Scale Lounge offers, full tempered glass throughout on your flybridge. This is a wonderful feature because it allows you 
to have air conditioning and heat in here depending on what climate you're in. Another great feature of it is that when you have weather squalls come through or you're going through a front line or wind picks up or a thunderstorm, it's easy enough to stay up here, close it, turn on the AC or the heat, you're gonna feel great in here. Running this boat, while I've had the great fortune of taking some runs on her and being out on the water for the photo shoot and spending a fair amount of other time on her, running up here is really great when you close everything up. It's quiet, you have a simple conversation just like I'm having. You don't have, you don't have the wind blowing. So it's a very easy conversation, very, very great positive asset to having the Sky Lounge version. One of the great features as you walk in to this owner's selection, you're gonna find the captain's chairs. In addition to that, you've got one Raymarine display, as well as all of your controls up here. This boat comes with two electric bow thrusters that are easy to man maneuver from your helm station. Working our way back, we have a great Flybridge cockpit table so with leafs that open up so you can sit plenty around here if you need to stay in this version in the sky lounge and you want to stay closed up in the evening and sit up here and have your dinner great place if you have the open version great place also any version is great on the Aquila working our way aft we have another door similar to the salon opens up we also have Another three panel slider. So a great thing on the Flybridge aft deck is we have a nice open area. One thing that we get from a lot of owners is, well, what are we gonna do with seating on the aft deck? Every owner is different. What Aquila has opted to do is to leave that autonomous for every owner to select what they'd like to do up here. So if you want chase loungers, or you want one big couch, or you just want to leave it open and have a dance deck, choice is yours. In this offering, the owner is selected to leave this open, so they'll be able to select what, what furnishings they want to put up here. One thing you'll notice on all the Aquilas is we have wide, wide walk decks. On the Aquila 54, we have a walk around flybridge. So, Take a walk with me and we'll make our way to the bow of the boat. One of the items when you're up on the flybridge, again, you'll notice the full height windshield. You're gonna notice you've got two full-size wipers and these things work fantastic. We went through a squall line and when we unloaded this boat from the ship and brought her through, windshield wipers were a fantastic asset to have on that delivery back from the ship. Okay, as I work my way to the foredeck, one thing you'll notice that this owner has opted for is a wonderful spotlight. As you walk down, you'll notice there's two easy steps to get down. You've got sun lounger to your right and another sun, sun lounger to your left. Both of these, you're able to tilt the backrest up. You have a nice backrest to sit at, or you can lay them flat to the left and to the right. You have a little nook to store your book or your drinks. Working my way further down to the bow, what you'll notice is we've got excellent seating area. This is really nice whether you're at anchor or underway. One of the things that I've noticed while on board here and underway, this is a great seat even while underway. The wind tends to wrap around your bridge and get kind of put you in a nice little pocket right here so you can have a very easy conversation even while you're underway well you'll notice you've got two cup holders both on this side and to my right hand side one thing you'll notice as soon as i step down at my feet level you've got your windows for your master cabin really great so be able to see in. Underneath here, we've got our access to our windlass and our windlass control. We also have our freshwater deck wash down or raw, raw water, should you wish to have raw water. As we walk our way back, one thing I want you to notice is the plethora of grab rails. 
big uh, grab rail here. And then on the underside, nice tucked away, is we've got another stainless steel grab rail. So thank you for joining me on our experience on the Aquila 54 Power Catamaran. My name is Elaine Ross, the Aquila Brand Manager for Marine Max USA. For more information on this wonderful yacht, please visit one of your Marine Max stores, or if you're an international client, please reach out to your nearest Aquila International dealer. Thanks for your time and have a wonderful day.